Good intentions is not enough to be blessed. You actually have to follow through and obey the Lord to be blessed. James chapter one says, it's the doer of the word that is blessed, not just those who, who hear it. You know, Jesus gave a parable to illustrate this truth. It's a parable that few people know about. It's in Matthew 21, and let me read it to you in verse 28. What do you think, Jesus said, there was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what the father wanted? They answered the first one. See, which son are you? Are you the one that's just willing, oh, I want to do God. I want to I want to live for God. I want to start going to church, reading my Bible. I want to pray. I want to volunteer. I want to be generous, give my tithes. I want to live holy. I want to get lust out of my life. I want to quit being bitter, resentful. I want to control my anger. I want to be kind and compassionate to other people. I want to get rid of the pride and the arrogance in my life. I, I want to stop treating my stomach like a God. I want to quit um, practicing gluttony and drunkenness. I'm getting rid of getting drunk. Um, see, here you make all these commitments. I will, I will do this. But can I tell you, it's not the person who says I will do it. It's the person that does it. Which are you? Are you the talker, the promiser of God? You promise and promise, but you don't follow through with your commitments. There's people who go to my church and they, they'll say, Bishop, I've been going to, my wife and I have been going to church for six months because we had marital problems, but it, we still have problems. What's going on? It's real simple. You're not practicing the word. That's all. What do you think? Coming to church that when the preacher preaches, the magic dust will be sprinkled on you and everything will get fixed? No, you go to church to hear the word so you can do it. The only reason why you read the Bible is not to accumulate knowledge, but to practice it. See, that's all God's word is for, is to give you directions and inspiration to practice the walk of faith, the walk of love, the walk of holiness. And see, in the end, you're not going to be blessed in your marriage, in your finances. You're not going to be, if you're going to keep robbing God of tithes, forget it. You're not going to be blessed. If you keep doing this wrong and yet you're wanting blessings, it's not going to happen. It's the doer of the word that is blessed. So I challenge you, you quit being the second son in this parable. Be the first son. Even if you've been reluctant to obey God, but you do it, you're better off than the one who seems to be really gung-ho and serving the God, but they don't really follow through. Act on the word. Don't just talk about it.